Hello and welcome everyone. This is Alina. After my last video about the spiritual side of the gardening, I've got a few requests to continue in this direction. So in this video, I want to discuss what we consider to be pests and weeds in the garden and the actual value and role, an important role, not only in the gardens, but in life in general, in a much broader perspective. But first, I want to ask you to please like this video, leave a comment if it resonates with you, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Everything on our planet has a purpose, an important role to play in the intricate tapestry of life. It doesn't matter if something in the nature causes some inconvenience, nuisance, or worse. Our perception of how the things ought to be these rules that we set up are so arbitrary. First, some unwanted plants that we consider weeds in the gardens or lawns have amazing healing properties. Then the lime, for instance, was brought originally to North America as a part of medicine gardens. And it's a super important plant medicine for support and detoxification of our bodies, especially liver and gallbladder. Another good example of medicinal weed is a plantain or band-aid plant <laughs> that helps to stop bleeding, supports tissue generation, and is uh, naturally antiseptic. Plantain poultice also helps bring splinters to the surface for removal and neutralizes bug bites and poison ivy, all things we may come across in our gardens. Anyway, even if you deal with the weeds without any known healing or nutritional value, it's important to realize that all the plants we call weeds are important first responders to help to secure bare soil to prevent its erosion from moving. I think we got to respect them for this, don't we? In addition, Weeds may serve as the indicators for certain mineral deficiencies or other poor conditions of the soil. For example, chickweed thrives in high organic matter on the surface, but poor mineral content of the soil. Crabgrass, on the other hand, grows the most in a tight, crusted soil with low calcium, and so on and so forth. And just like weeds, Unwanted insects also play an important role in the garden community. Without caterpillars, we won't see any butterflies, right? Importantly, healthy, well-nourished plants have a capacity to resist all kinds of bugs assault. They have their own version of immune system, just like humans, to fight back by developing special bioactive compounds, polyphenols, antioxidants, and whatnot. The very same qualities we value and crave for our own healing. In fact, I have a strong suggestion to choose stressed out fruits and vegetables with the signs of insect damage for our consumption. Not only as a sign of organically grown, safe produce, but also for the increased nutritional values that can help us to be healthier, live longer, and in tune with our environment. My point is, it's not productive to see as enemies everything or everyone we don't like. Let's drop this tunnel vision, this all black and white. We need to graduate into broader, more harmonious mindset of interconnectedness of everything and everyone. And consider every living being, big and small, as a valuable player in our meow. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep gardening.